Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day 40. So we've spent quite a few days of the challenge here talking about our documents and compliance and DocuSign. Now that we have an executed contract, it's time to start working towards getting paid. So we're going to start by going into the Offers tab and submitting the offers that we have on our listing. We're going to do that by going into the Opportunities applet, six one down here, the Handshake. And we're going to go into our test opportunity that we've been working on. And here's one, two, three, Quack Lane. And let's say that we have two offers on it. We want to, we want to add both of those offers in. So we're going to go to Offers and Commissions. We're going to click on Add New Offer. And then we can call this offer something. So let's call this uh, Mickey and Minnie. And this is 3.30 cash. All right, so we'll create the offer. So we've got the version name here. We've got the offer date. Let's say the offer came in today and they are looking to close by the end of the month. So they've got a quick close happening. So we've got the offer date in, the close date in. Next, we wanna click on parties. And this is where we would put in the buyer's name. So we're gonna put in buyer one, and we can put in email phone number if you'd like, but those are not required. And then we're gonna put in the associate's name. So that's Annie Agent. You can see our seller's information is being pulled over, as is our information as well. At least the required pieces of those information are being pulled in. Next, we can click on the terms. And we said that this was $330,000 cash. So, oops, 330, there we go. So $330,000 cash. They're gonna put down 1% uh, earnest money or 3,300. Just so you know, if they said maybe 5,000, you can also put the earnest amount in without having to figure out what the percentage is. Uh, the option fee, if there is one, let's say it's $250 and they're asking for five day termination option period. And are they contributing any costs? Uh, seller will contribute. They are asking for a home warranty or a residential service contract of 600, and they are not asking for any settlement costs. Now I can go into agent analysis down here at the bottom, and this is my chance to communicate with my seller should I present these offers via command. So I could put the pros in is all cash, quick close, the cons is 20K short of list price. And summary, quick close, no lender involvement. Should be pretty smooth outside of uh, missing our list price. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. And that gets in Mickey Mouse's offer of $330,000 cash. You can see nothing's financed, earnest money is five grand, 250 option, closes on the 30th, five day uh, termination notice. Now we can put in our second offer. And this one is, this is from, um, let's say, oops. This is Goofy and Pluto. And this one, 350,000 finance. And it's, um, conventional. Okay, so I can create that offer. This one, the offer also came with today, but this one they need a longer close. They're actually looking at closing on the 20th of August. We'll put in the offers. The buyer is GG Goof, uh, uh, Arnold agent here. And again, it pulled in our information for the seller and the associate's name. Next, we're going to put in that they're putting in, let's say, 10% and they're financing the rest. Uh, they're gonna put down 1% earnest money, a $100 option period for 10 days. They are asking for a residential service contract in the amount of 750, and they would like back $3,000 towards their settlement costs. Now I can put in the agent analysis, pros, full list offer, cons, uh, you know, finance, Longer close, asking for 3K in settlement costs. Summary may take longer to close, and yet when it does, you'll net more money. 
All right, so now I've got those comments in and I have two separate offers inside of my offer timeline. I now have the ability, should I choose to, to compare these offers by clicking select all, or I can individually select any of the offers I want to compare and then click on the compare offers button. That creates a pretty nice spreadsheet here, right? With all of our terms and I can put any additional information that I wanted inside of summary or in the email that I would send over. So I can choose to download this comparison or I can email it over and you'll see basically what that looks like when you download it or you can choose to email the offer comparison and it'll ask you for the email, subject title and email message. You can also send a copy to yourself. So that's the beginning of offers and commissions, entering in all of the offers that you receive. On Monday, we're gonna go ahead and accept one of those offers and move forward with the rest of the process involved in offers and commissions. Hope everyone has a great weekend. I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.